How's it going, guys? Hank here, back at you with another short video on the Big Blue Avenue YouTube channel. And folks, as always, I want to give you guys a friendly neighborhood reminder. Please don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter at Big Blue Avenue. And of course, if you like what you see and you want to see more short videos like this, please don't forget to hit that big red button down below. Give us a like, give us a comment, let us know your thoughts. We want to hear from you guys. So this is going to be another little short video here, and what we're going to be talking about is the New York Giants have made a depth signing in tight end Tanner Hudson. Now, injuries have obviously been a very big problem for the New York Giants throughout training camp and the early part of the preseason. So, and unfortunately, we all know besides some of the other losses and the big scare they had with Kayvon Thibodeau, in terms of the tight end position, they lost Ricky Seals-Jones and Andre Miller, two season-ending injuries. And, you know, besides that with the tight end position, they had also waived Jeremiah Hall and Jordan Akins, which has left them down to two tight ends in Daniel Bellinger and Austin Allen. So as a result, the Giants, to fill up another spot on the tight end depth chart, had signed Tanner Hudson. Now, Tanner Hudson is a tight end that didn't really have a lot of action in the years he had spent in the NFL. He was an undrafted free agent that was signed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2018. And, you know, he had on his career, he has five catch catches on 12 targets for 67 yards. And this was only really in about 23 games. He played 22 of those with the Buccaneers. He actually stuck around long enough to win a Super Bowl ring with them in 2020. And he only played one game with the San Francisco 49ers very briefly. So in other words, it's basically another band-aid slash depth signing for the Giants. And I think it's probably a smart move on their part in case, you know, split hits the fan and they get another injury. And as a result of this move, somebody had to go. And that casualty was Chris Owens, the offensive lineman who had been waived after the signing had occurred. Now, in other news among the New York Giants, they had another injury scare, and this one came with Aziz Ojolari, and this is one that could really be a devastating blow, depending on the severity of his injury. So Ojolari, according to reporters, was seen limping during the Giants condition sprints, and he ended up having to be helped off the field by a few trainers. We still don't know the severity of the injury as of this recording and as of when this video will be posted, but thus far, it's not believed to be as bad as the severe Colin Johnson injury that knocked him out. But again, as Giant fans, with regards to Aziz Ojolari, we are going to have to keep our fingers crossed, and I am going to knock on my wooden desk right here just because, as Giant fans, we can't catch a break. But in any event, th those are all that I really have to talk about with regards to the New York Giants. And, folks, before I go, I want you guys to – I don't want you guys to forget about our sponsor. You can sign up on BetUS and join by signing our promo code join 125 please click on the link below if you're interested get all your sports betting anytime anywhere straight from your mobile device with the app bet us and of course as always please don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias you can find us on instagram and twitter at big blue avenue and of course please don't hit that don't forget to hit that big red button down below give us a like give us a comment let us know your thoughts what do you think of the tanner hudson signing do you think this was a good depth move by the Giants, and are you worried about Aziz Ojolari? Do you think he will be out for a certain period of time, and if at all, how long? Well, that'll about wrap it up for this short video on the Big Blue Avenue YouTube channel. I'm Hank Conductor, and I will see you guys later as the season draws near. See you later, guys.